Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another 2023 preview and prediction video. Today I'll be doing the Virginia Tech Hokies. So let's get into it. Well, last season Virginia Tech went 3-8, and eight, uh, had to cancel their last game against Virginia because of a shooting that happened in Virginia. Um, hope all the families that were involved in that are doing okay. But besides that, they're, they had wins against Boston College, Walford, uh, and Liberty, and losses against Old Dominion in Norfolk, uh, West Virginia, North Carolina, Pitt, Miami, NC State, Georgia Tech, and Duke. A lot of these losses were not close. Some were, but not a lot. Uh, that was under new head coach last year, Brent Pry. He's a defensive-minded guy, came over, was the defensive coordinator at Penn State. Can he improve in year two? Well, let's see what they're working with, and we'll see what I think. Well, they get Grant Wells back at this quarterback, which, uh, take what you want from that. Uh, if you want to say, well, he was terrible. Well, maybe, but the whole team was terrible. You also bring in a backup quarterback in Kyron Drones coming in from Baylor. Redshirt sophomore guy. So we'll see if he sees any time on the field. You also have Malachi Thomas at running back and by Shul Tutton coming in at running back from North Carolina A&T. Um, at wide receiver, you have three transfer wide receivers. Allie Jennings coming in from Old Dominion. You have uh, Daquan Felton coming in from Norfolk State. And you have Jalen Lane coming in from Middle Tennessee State. So... We'll see if they can't make an impact uh, on the offense, which they really need it. You also have Nick Gallo and Daquan Wright at tight end. The offensive line, mix of young and older talent. You have two redshirt freshmen that are projected to start on the left side of the offensive line. And you have juniors from the center and right side of the offensive line. So that's going to be a question mark to see if they will play good. On the defensive side, you bring in Antoine Powell Ryland coming in from Florida at defensive end. You also bring in uh, Derek Cantell at corner from George Southern. Uh, besides that, the defense, very similar to what it was last year. And with the coaching of Brent Pry, I don't, I don't have an issue with how their defense is right now. Uh, not, they don't have a lot of talent right now that can elevate the squad enough, but they have a lot of senior seniors that can uh, help lead the defense. So with that, let's look at the schedule to see what I think Virginia Tech is going to do this year. Well, it seems that Old Dominion has had Virginia Tech's number over the past five years. Whenever they've played them, I think they've beaten them three times, if two or three times. I think you get them this year. I think you're able to beat them at home to finally stick it to them and have a good start to your year. But that good start doesn't last because you play Purdue and at Rutgers, two Big Ten teams the weeks after. So I think you lose both those games. Just two teams that I think are um, have a lot more fight and are more talented than you at this point. Then you have a road game at Marshall. I would not sleep on Marshall this year. I could totally see them beating y'all. But I'm not going to predict it. I'm going to give you the win at Marshall before playing Pittsburgh. Now, Pittsburgh, they bring in Phil Jerkovic. Pat Narduzzi is a good head coach. And in your state right now, I uh, do not trust you to win the game like this. So I think that you lose this game. I think you lose the game against Florida State the week after. And then I think you lose the game against Wake Forest on homecoming. Just offenses are going to be too much for you. Those offenses are going to be too much for you. So you're 2-5 and five going into the bye week before coming out and playing Syracuse. And I think um, – and I think you – let's see, hold on. And I think you get a win here, an ACC win, the first one of the year. Here on October 26th against Syracuse to go to three and five. Syracuse, while being a decent team, I think that they are susceptible to a loss like this against you. 
Brent Pry, this will be his best win of his career thus thus far. And I think you're going to get a win here to get to 3-5 and five before playing at Louisville, at Boston College, NC State, and at Virginia to end the year. Sadly, I have you losing all of those games. Just I don't think that Virginia Tech is there just yet, and they have a long way to go. It's it's going to be tough for them. So I have you going 3-9, and nine. and if you watch the Virginia video, I have a very similar record for them as well. So I'm not going to dwell on it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Go dogs.